My name is Abdul El Hindi. I'm a clinical associate professor of medicine at University of Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, and a practicing cardiologist at Marshfield Clinic, Marshfield, Wisconsin. My presentation today was entitled Non-Invasive Evaluation of Coronary Artery Bypass Graft Disease. Coronary artery bypass graft surgery is a widely used method for revascularization. It has shown to improve survival and ameliorate symptoms in many patients with uh, left ventricular dysfunction and heart disease. However, uh, there is a high instance of graft failure, which can be associated with increased morbidity and myocardial infarction. It's not justifiable to perform an invasive coronary angiography in each patient because of the cost and associated risk, and therefore it is very important to identify an accurate non-invasive method for such an evaluation. In my presentation, I discussed the anatomical imaging uh, most notably uh, cardiovascular CT imaging, which has excellent sensitivity and uh, negative predictive value. And it can be applied mostly in patients who have cardiac symptoms, uh, particularly those patients uh, who are five years after bypass surgery. The other technique that I discussed is magnetic resonance angiography, which can also allow detection of uh, stenosis in the graft Functional imaging with MRI also can be done uh, using pharmacologic stress testing. And uh, it has a high sensitivity and specificity to detect significant uh, bypass graft disease. Other modalities that we discussed, functional modalities that included uh, stress echocardiography, exercise echocardiography has fairly good accuracy. In patients with limited exercise capacity, you can perform dobutamine stress echocardiography. Recent advances in uh, myocardial perfusion applied during stress echocardiography has also allowed evaluation of coronary artery disease and coronary bypass graft disease by adding contrast and observing for reversible perfusion abnormalities. I discussed the current uh, guidelines and uh, appropriateness criteria to perform these tests, and they are uh, very appropriate to perform in patients with symptoms or symptoms of angina equivalent after cabbage. And uh, with myocardial perfusion imaging with radionuclide agent, it is appropriate to use that study in patients who uh, uh, don't have symptoms five years after bypass surgery. In conclusion, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, various methods for non-invasive evaluation for coronary artery bypass graft disease. And the selection of the appropriate method depends on the expertise availability and recognizing the merits and limitations of each technique in a particular patient.